Thank you for watching Inspire Math videos. Today we're going to study how to multiply fractions using the cancellation method. Let's review the question we did in the previous video. Fraction 12. 7 over 8 times 4 over 5. We just multiplied the numerators, 7 times 4, which is 28, and the denominators, 8 times 5, which is 40. So we had 28 over 40. Then we divided both the numerator and denominator by 4 to get the simplest form of fraction, 7 over 10. This method is alright when the calculation is simple, but it takes a lot of time because you must multiply and then divide. However, if you divide first, you deal with smaller numbers and the calculation is much simpler. So we strongly recommend the cancellation method. Let's consider the same question again. When you have a multiplication of fractions, you can divide any numerator and any denominator by a common factor. It is like finding an equivalent fraction. In this case, you see the numerator 4 on top and the denominator 8 on the bottom. Both have a common factor of 4. So you can divide 4 by 4. Then you get 1. And 8 divided by 4, you get 2. Now multiply the numerators, 7 and 1, to get 7, and the denominators 2 and 5, to get 10. So the answer is 7 over 10. Let's look at another question. 5 over 6 times 9 over 10. Before multiplying, check the numerators and denominators. Since 9 and 6 have a common factor of 3, we can divide both by 3. 9 divided by 3 becomes 3, and 6 divided by 3 becomes 2. We can see that 5 and 10 also have a common factor of 5, so we can divide both by 5. 5 divided by 5 becomes 1, and 10 divided by 5 becomes 2. Now multiply the numerators, 1 and 3, to get 3, and the denominators 2 and 2 to get 4, so the answer is 3 over 4. Let's try this question, 9 over 16 times 20 over 27. If you do the general method of multiplication, the numerator is 9 times 20, which is 180, and the denominator is 16 times 27, which is 432. So we have 180 over 432. This is not the simplest fraction, but how can we simplify it? It may take some time to simplify this fraction. Actually, some fractions are really difficult to simplify. So let's try the cancellation method. When using the cancellation method in this question, 9 over 16 times 20 over 27, first check the numerators and denominators. I can see that 20 and 16 have a common factor. You could find a common factor as 4, but let's say you only found it as 2. We just divide 20 by 2 to get 10, and 16 also by 2 to get 8. Then you realize 10 and 8 still have a common factor of 2. Then we can divide 10 by 2 to get 5, and 8 by 2 to get 4. In a similar way, 9 and 27 have a common factor. You could find a common factor as 9, but let's say you only found it as 3. So we divide 9 by 3 to get 3, and 27 by 3 to get 9. Then, as you can see, 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3 again. Then. 
we can divide 3 by 3 to get 1, and 9 by 3 to get 3. Now, multiply the numerators, 1 and 5, to get 5, and the denominators, 4 times 3, to get 12. So the answer is 5 over 12. Let's summarize today's lesson. When you multiply fractions, you can divide a numerator and a denominator by a common factor. So check the numerators and denominators carefully. If you see a common factor for both, divide them by the common factor before multiplying. Even after you've divided them, check both numerators and denominators again. You might be able to divide them more. Here are some challenge questions. Try them out. Sample solutions are linked under the video. Press show more below the video and then find its link. Hope you can solve them. Thank you for watching Inspire Math videos. Please subscribe if you'd like to join our Inspire Math tutoring community. There are some related videos linked below. Press show more for details. Thank you and have a good one.